certainly got the speed. But we usually expect to see Ethiopians dominant in the distance races. Pamela Jelimo, who has been out of action for almost two years, nursing a knee injury, returned to the spotlight at the Atakoi Athletics Arena in Istanbul. Jelimo produced a powerful sprint in the final lap to record a world leading time of 1 minute 58.83 seconds. Natalia Lupu of Ukraine was second and Erika Moore of USA third. She is tired, there's no question about that. But a perfect tactical race from this woman. And it did really take an effect on most of the other athletes apart from this lady here. An 800-1500 meter run up until last summer. Kenya's up and coming middle distance runner Helen Obiri upset Ethiopian Meseret Defar who was eyeing her fifth world indoor title. Obiri turned the tables on the experienced Defar in the final lap and sprinted away to her first world title in 8 minutes 37.16 seconds. Defar took the silver and compatriot Ejelet Burka bronze. Double world 5,000 meter silver medalist Sylvia Kibet was fourth. Burka picks up the bronze. While we haven't seen Meseret Defar outkicked very often over the last decade, perhaps only her compatriot Tiranish Debaba has proved able to do it. But this is a new major talent, uh, Helen Obiri. In the men's 3,000 meters, former 5,000 meters Commonwealth Games champion Agustin Choge settled for the silver medal, and Olympic 5,000 meters bronze medalist Edwin Soy took the bronze after American Bernard Lagat defended his title in a season's best time of 7 minutes 41.44 seconds. Kenya finished fourth overall with two gold, a silver and a bronze. USA was first overall with 17 medals, followed by Britain with eight, while Ethiopia was third with five medals. The next championship will be held in Poland in the year 2014. Vereso Mwanga, Sunday Interactive.